Well, the casting process was, uh, at first, um, Brandon and Warren had said that they wanted to uh, try to cast it with faces that America was not familiar with, uh, which is a tough order at that age, of that age uh, category. And, uh, you know, we always wanted to be, I mean, I, the script said be Arthur type. Um, and so we went to New York and Chicago and elsewhere and, and Canada and, and looked around and, uh, you know, a lot of Broadway people and theater people. And, um, you know, no one could compare to uh, those we knew knew and those we really knew. And so uh, um, uh, in the end, uh, the, uh, the Starkers, the, the real horses won out. I mean, the people that could really deliver. Not that there weren't some great uh, Broadway actresses that we read and, and, and such, but these ladies knew what they were doing. Potentially the funniest woman besides Lucy ever to be on television. I mean, just big time funny. B. B. Arthur could get you a laugh just by looking. Just by, just by a take, just by pausing before the line, in the middle of the line, after the line. Impeccable timing, impeccable looks, a fine actress, and uh, a complete delight, but just, just killer perfect, perfect, perfect. We have uh, about all of them, really. I mean, it's not, you can just talk about them all at once. Uh, you know, Betty, Betty, uh, a trooper who knew com comedic timing from from her birth, I bet. You know, I mean, just and, and Rue uh, just embraced that character so wonderfully, and, uh, and just understood how to play it and where the vulnerabilities were and where the outrageousness was of it. And all of them had been in television series before, and they looked at this writing and said, "Oh my God, this woman Susan Harris is a brilliant a genius." We gave them the best possible production we, they, we could give them and the best working t conditions we could give them. And they truly made it magic for us. And when we sh showed up strong on a Monday with a, with a fantastic script, they made it unbelievable. And when we showed up not so strong, they made it pretty darn good. I mean, it just was amazing, you know, it just, they they really were uh, impeccable, and to get they got it, and they also got that this doesn't come along often. Uh, they got what all of our writers and other people that worked on that show got later on, which was it's never going to be this good again. On one series at one time, for us, I mean, some actors and other shows and writers have that experience too, but and and I'm sure there are, there are a handful that I can think of that probably had it, but. One of those comes along once in your life. I can't imagine it coming along twice. Uh, where the actors know it and you know it, that this is magic. And uh, later on, we had a lot of young writers on the show and, and, they, and, and every few seasons, they changed out a little bit. And we have talked to them over the years and, and they all say, they say we, never, we had no idea. We had no idea how good we had in, in terms of who we had doing our stuff, you know? And, and you and Paul and Susan there to back us up and to fight our battles and, and just everything about it was just magic. And, and Brandon, who supported us and, and you know, we, we, we premiered number three on a Saturday night, you know? We had a 40 share. We used to get upset if we dropped below a 39 share. We used to get upset if we dropped in the 30s, but okay, 39 was okay. You know, and kids, every, everybody was relating to the show. It was just magic. Estelle was a, a jewel. You know, Estelle, the casting of Estelle, Estelle came into my office. We, we, uh, because of the shows we had on the air, we were all running around doing different things. And on a given day, if I had a heavy post-production schedule, I didn't go to casting, Paul did casting. Or if Paul had, had a run-through on a show that he was dealing with, I'd, and I was doing the casting, or he was in editing. So we did, you know, we did, we filled all the spots just to get the day done. And uh, Estelle came in with Judith Wiener, that casting, that day, uh, uh, with a little purse in a hand, and came in, and was th was this woman just 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 blew it off the charts, and uh, there was good. And then we have callback sessions, 
uh, after an act, actor uh, or actress has, has done well, we always bring them back, of course. And and then you you either it's either to to read in front of the same people again and make sure you are you're happy enough with them that it wasn't an accident, and that then you go bring them to the networks, and so the callback session I couldn't be at, and Susan and Paul and Jake were there, and I I was editing, so I said to them I the, the editing their casting is about to start and I had to get down to get this show out to make an air date, so I said to them Estelle Geddes is going to come in here. Getty is going to come in here and read for you. If she doesn't do it right, make sure she does it again. Do not let her leave this room until you're happy because I'm telling you, there's nobody else with this. And I go running downstairs and, and uh, I come back later to Paul. I go, that casting session is broken up. Jay's down on the stage doing, they were, I think they were doing it their lunch hour. Though. Jay was doing something else for us at the time. And uh, I said, so how'd it go? And he said, uh, I don't know what you saw in Estelle Getty. I said, you are kidding me. I will kill you. You let this woman out of the room. He said, no, are you kidding me? She was great from the moment she walked in the door. I said, oh, great, you know. It just, uh, but sometimes it does, and sometimes it happens where they're not, you know. They don't come back with the magic. But Estelle was brilliant. She was that part. She was that part. Uh, I can't imagine. I can't imagine doing the show, as you often can't once you get started. Can't imagine doing it with anybody else. But, uh, you know, she was the one and only. There was no one that got anywhere near that part like she did. 